Well, the inspiration came straight from the baby. Uh, you know, nature made the baby pretty well and made, made the mother's body uh, perfectly in, in tune to breastfeed, although there are sometimes challenges that uh, necessitate not being able to breastfeed or, or choosing not to even. And uh, however, we'd, come, we'd like to come as close to optimal as possible and optimal being being the child itself and a mother who, who fits with that child. To imitate or, or mimic the baby's mouth cavity um, on top of the breast by, by having a relatively rigid, but not hard, not painful surface um, against which the tongue or some sort of actuator device, sort of compression massage technique can push um, against, you need some sort of boundary and the baby uses its palate for that. Um, so we're developing a shell that can be worn underneath clothing, inside the bra, uh, something like, like this. <clears throat> okay, and so this is a slightly rigid shell. It's lined with something very comfortable for the mother. Um, and uh, the valve comes directly out of this underneath the clothes. It's discreet and accessible. It can be detached from underneath the clothes as well. And then this, uh, this cup can be removed later.